Hello, today we're going to revise metallic structures and alloys. I don't have quite enough hands to do this, so Jacob and Alex have come to help me out. Now in the middle here, you can see we've set up a model of a metal structure. So I want you to pause for a second and have a think. What are my red balls representing? So these balls here are trying to represent the particles in a metal. If you said an atom, that's all right. Even better would be to say an ion. Even better would be a positive ion. So what I've got here in my metal structure is a lattice of positive metal ions. Now there's something missing from my model. At the moment, I don't have anything to be the negative. So I'm gonna try and add that in. Right, so at the moment, my lattice would push itself apart because all the particles have a positive charge. In there, I also need my negative particles, my delocalized electrons. Okay, so add them in there, boys. Right, so in here now, you can't really see them, but we've got our C of delocalized electrons that are in here. So each of these will attract to the particles around it. So this has got a negative charge, these have got positive charges, and there's an electrostatic attraction holding that negative to that positive and it pulls all around it. And that is a metallic bond. Right, we've taken the electrons back out at the moment because what I want to look at today, it's easier with a simplified model. So I've now got my layers of ions stacked on top of each other. Remember, this is a 3D structure. I've just taken a, a 2D slice of it. So my layers are all sitting on top of each other, nicely stacked. Now this is a pure metal. It's containing only one type of ion. So it's all the same type of atoms that are in there. So now if we apply a force to one of those layers, we can get the whole layer to slide. So, so you can see the atoms can roll over each other and slide along. And that's why pure metals are soft, because the atoms are all the same size. They can roll over each other. And when you apply a force, it will move and bend that piece of metal. Now we're going to turn our pure metal into an alloy. So if you remember, an alloy is a mixture of metals with some other atoms. It could be another metal, it could be a non-metal such as carbon. So to, for our model, we're going to swap out one ball with a ball of a different size. Right, so as we've put that in, can you see the layers of ions have been disrupted? They haven't got that nice structure. So now if we try and slide it, it's much more tricky. not really working at all. So that's why our alloys are much stronger. By having atoms of different sizes, could have been something smaller, but something of different size, it disrupts the layers, the layers can't slide, and so the alloy is much harder.